Kinder family is happy Tuesday. This video is a brief overview of our core subject area lessons you're going to be working on today. We already talked about social studies, STEM, health, art, gym, and music in Monday's video. So if you're looking for help in those subject areas, go back to that video. Let's get started today with reading. In reading this week, today we're going to start our new story. But first, we're going to start about the, we're going to introduce some new vocabulary. Our first word is the word between. We use this word all the time. Between is the space next to or in between the middle of other things. So like there's space between your fingers or the apple is between the boxes or that cute little kitten is between the puppy dogs. The next word is after. After is later, when you're all done with something, like you have your spaghetti and then after that you have dessert, you have your ice cream. Maybe when you're planting some plants, this is what they look like before, and then after they look like a beautiful plant. Or when you get a haircut, your hair is all crazy and shaggy, and then after it looks so nice. So that's our next word, after. Then the last vocabulary word is sneeze. You know what a sneeze is. Ah, chew. Sneeze. It sneezes your breath that gets pushed out of your nose really, really fast. It can be a loud surprise or it, it could, excuse me, it could be a loud surprise when you or someone else sneezes. So those are our three words, between, after, and sneeze. So our book this week is Wash Your Hands. Ah. Oh, Perfect. What a perfect book for us to be reading this week. We have to wash our hands a lot now, don't we? And kinder friends, you can do, you can listen to the optional teacher read aloud, or you can go to our classroom website. And I read this story to you on our classroom website. So if you want to read along with me, definitely go and find that video so we can read it along together. After you're done with that story, the next thing you're going to be doing is working on our new handwriting worksheet, which is the letter E. When we make a little letter E, we draw our line over, from we cross from the left to the right, so that's that little line over, and then curve around. So cross left to right, curve around. Every time you see a dot, there's where I want to see that letter E, kinder friends. And on the back, you've got some words to stretch out. Our first word is the word hen. 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 Stretch it out and write it in the boxes. Then you've got the word bed. B. Ed. Bed. Stretch it out and write it in the boxes. Next, he wants you to write two sentences. The first one says, look for the egg. Egg. That's the word you're going to stretch out. Then the next sentence it wants you to write is, look for the elephant. Elephant. Do your kindergarten best, kinder friends. Now let's talk about writing. Once again, nothing new here. You're just going to be finishing up the writing that you've been doing for the last couple of weeks. So if you forgot to do any of these pages last week, this is the time to do that. Remember, you can also write your own things on the back. You could write about two things you did today on the back of these pages, or you can record a video of you reading your writing and send it to me. I would love, love, love to hear from you guys. Now let's talk about math. All right, kinder friends, we're going to do something kind of crazy today. Today at home, you're going to take your math test. <gasps> what? Take a test at home? That's crazy. I know, but you know what? This test is not going to be graded, and it's going to be really helpful for your families to see what you know in math. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to, um, whoop, before we do that, <laughs> you're going to read through the, we're going to read through the pages of the test together. I'm going to walk you through it here on the video, but your families can also help you. But before we do that, I wanted to do a quick review of something that we didn't really get a chance to teach very well in um, kindergarten before you do this test, and that's 3D shapes. So there are four 3D shapes on your test today. I wanna do a quick practice with you really quick before you get started. What is this shape? Do you know what it's called? It's a cube. Cube, good. Let's look at the next one. Hmm, do you know what this one's called? It's a cylinder. Cylinder, it's like a soda can. Next we have, it's not a circle. It's shaped like a ball. It's a 
Sphere. Can you say that? Sphere. It's kind of a weird name, huh? A sphere is like a ball. Then the last one we have looks like this. It looks like a party hat. What shape is that? It's a cone. Good. So we have a cube, a cylinder, a sphere, and a cone. All right. We're going to see these shapes on our math test today. When you take the test, I want you to really, really try your best not to ask for help. But if you need a little bit of help with the shapes today, I totally understand. These 3D shapes are kind of tricky. Okay. Now, we're going to go through and review the test pages together. We're going to read the directions. I'm going to help read them to you and your families can read them to you first and try to complete the questions on your own before asking for help, kinder friends. Okay? Do your kindergarten best. All right, let's look at page one. Number one says draw a line to show the partners, then write the partners. So just like you did in all the other worksheets, you're going to draw a line between two of your apples and then write the numbers in the boxes. Number two says the store has nine apples. Dad buys three apples. How many apples are left in the store? Draw to show the math story. So you're going to draw nine apples and then dad is taking away three apples. So is that adding or subtracting? It's subtracting. You're right. We're going to take away three apples. So cross off three apples. Then I want you to write the number on the line. How many apples are left in the store? All right. Let's go on to number three. Which equation shows the partners of 10 for this picture? So they already drew the line for you. You just need to figure out which one is right. Is this picture showing 10 equals 4 plus 6? Is it showing 10 equals 7 plus 3? Or is it showing 10 equals 9 plus 1? So count how many are on each side of the line, figure out which one is correct. All right? If you want to pause right here so you can do these three or these three numbers on your math page, that's a good idea. And then you can hit play when you're ready to go on to the next page. All right, you ready? Here we go. Page two. Number four says subtract. <gasps> that means we're taking away. Then it says ring the right answer. So look here in this blue box, there are two numbers. Is five take away one? Does that equal four or does it equal six? Remember, we're taking away. Circle the one that's right. Next, let's look at number five. It says add. So now we're adding two numbers together and circle the right answer. Look in this box. Is five plus zero zero or is it five? If I have five apples and I add zero more, how many apples do I have? Circle the right answer. These zero ones are always super tricky, so do your kindergarten best. All right, let's look at number six and number seven. Count and write the number. Ring the number that is less. That means it's a smaller number. So you're going to count the dots, write the number in the box, and then circle the one that is less, the one that is smaller. All right, you're doing that for number six and for number seven. Now let's look at the last one. Draw lines to match the equation to the drawing. It said the th three equations on the top, you're going to draw a line from the equation to the picture that matches. So 10 plus 4 equals 14. Which of those pictures at the bottom is showing 14? It's showing a group of 10 and a group of 4 to equal 14. Is it the yellow, the purple, or the green? Then you're going to do the same thing with 10 plus 3 equals 13. Does that match the yellow, the purple, or the green? And the last one is 10 plus 1 equals 11. Does that match the yellow, the purple, or the green? Go ahead and draw a line from the equation to the picture to see which one matches. We'll pause right here if you want to go ahead and take some time on that page. And then we can come back and move on to the next page. Okay, are you ready? Even if you're not, we're still going to go on. You can always come back and watch this video later. Page three. Now we're working on these 3D shapes. This is where it's going to get a little tricky. Do your best. Try to do as much as you can by yourself. But if you need to ask for help on these ones, I totally understand. 3D shapes are a little bit tricky. So do your kindergarten best. 
Number nine, it says, choose all of the solid shapes. That's another name for 3D shapes. So color in those little blue circles next to the shapes that are 3D shapes. So the first one, we've got a cube. The next one's a rectangle. Then we've got a cone. And the last one is a circle. So color in the little blue circle next to the ones that are 3D shapes. Those are shapes, solid shapes that you can hold in your hand. All right, let's move on to the next one. It says use this picture to help you complete the exercises below. All of these shapes are gonna help you with, the, with questions number 10, 11, 12, and 13. So remember, we're looking for all of these shapes, spheres, cylinders, cones, and cubes. So let's take a look at the first one. Number 10 says, how many spheres are there? Look at the picture. How many spheres do you see? And write that number in the box. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Number 11, how many cylinders are there? How many cylinders are there? Count the cylinders and write the number in the box. Next, we have cones. How many cones are there? Cones. Think of it like an ice cream cone. How many cones do you see? Count the cones, write the number in the box. Then the last one is cubes. How many cubes do you see? Count the cubes and write the number in the box. All right, we'll take a second here. If you wanna pause right now and finish this page before you go on to the next page, that's a good idea. And let's move on to the last page. All right, the last one says, ring the cylinder that is next to the cube. Oh my goodness, you have to use your brain. First, you have to find the cylinder that is next to the cube. So maybe look for the cube first and then look at the two shapes next to the cube, which one of those shapes is a cylinder. I know you really gotta use your brain for this one, kinder friends. Circle the cylinder that is next to the cube. All right, let's go on to the next one. Now it says ring the tile that shows the, sh the sphere below the cube. So first let's look at the cubes. There's two cubes on there. Which one has a sphere below the cube? Circle the one that has the sphere below the cube. You can circle both the sphere and the cube. All right, last one. Draw to show 14 as 10 ones and extra ones. Then it wants you to complete the equation. So it wants you to draw the number 14 I would draw it in circles. So I'm gonna draw 14 circles, and I'm gonna show a group of 10 and my extra ones. Sometimes we like to circle the group of 10 to help us find the extra ones. 10 plus blank equals blank. You're gonna finish that equation. Remember, you're trying to make the number 14. One of those numbers is gonna be 14. All right, kinder friends, remember, you can always go back and watch this again if you need a little bit of help with your math test. Kinder friends, especially with our math test, don't stress, do what you can. Take lots of breaks, and remember, you are smart. Happy Tuesday, kinder friends.